in order to move forward, you can't forget where you came from. It starts somewhere for all of us. A place where glimpses of what's to come first take shape. Where mentors make marks that last forever. Where identity is constructed out of principles never to be forgotten. For Lamar Woodley, long before he arrived in Pittsburgh, it started in Saginaw, Michigan. That's how we do it out here. They wear the black and gold here too. That makes you think it was all meant to be. For him to grow up and play for the Steelers and become a man this town reveres. We knew his potential. As a freshman, he was a starting lineman on the state championship team. When he first came here, we wanted to play him at fullback. He said, I don't want to run the ball, I want to block for somebody. <laughs> this is a state championship team. That's the coach right there. Yeah. And look who right under him, that's me. The neck was skinny, but I still was looking good. I was fortunate enough to, to start this championship game. Cedric Brown got hurt in the semifinal game. They came in at halftime, coach said, Lamar, you win. I'm like, man, I haven't been paying attention. That's where Lamar at. He over there joking. I said, Lamar, get over here. Our coach says, you know I'm not gonna play. <laughs> he went and touched down, he made two blocks. That's where I kind of made my name at, right there. The stands would be saying, put the wood on him, put the wood on him. That he would put the wood on him. And this is where the black and gold started. You know, Super Bowls aren't won overnight. It's the heart, it's the fight, it's tradition, it's the history behind it. So when you come play for this school right here, you gotta bring it. So it was almost like it was meant to be. He's with Pittsburgh. Now, if someone were to say, does that represent Saginaw High as opposed to if he was purple and green or something like that? No, no, this is representative of both. He has evolved into a maybe even better person than he has been as an athlete. Everybody, it's a bye week for the Pittsburgh Steelers, and you know what that means. That means Lamar Woodley's back in Saginaw. And when Lamar's back in town, here's a guy that cares. He gives back, and that's exactly what he's doing this weekend. Pretty much where we're going is um, where I do my Thanksgiving giveaway at, where we give like household supply. Um, it's the Civitan Recreation Center. It's one of, the, one of the recreation centers I went to, and actually one of the schools that I went to is connected to a Long Street Elementary School. I went there from uh, third grade to fifth grade. How y'all doing? This town, like so many others in this part of the country, once knew better days. Which is why when Woodley can make it back, he makes sure he leaves something behind. Say, well, this is the same pool table when I was here. It's the same exact one. It was just great watching him grow up. You could see that there was something special about him. He's always had just a, a beautiful spirit. This time of the year, people are in need of things that they don't have. And when somebody is blessed enough to give to the community, it is truly a blessing. And thank you, Lamont. God bless you. Without the game of football, uh, honestly, I think I'd be, you know, doing a lot of stuff in the community. That's where I get my joy and happiness from, is to see other people succeed. I came from the same, same background, same city, same school. You can do it. And that's why I love to come back all the time and just be that positive role model to people like people that feel like they can't do it. And he always thinking about the people that may not be doing as well off as some of the other people. So he want to do something for them, you know. It's not all about him. It's all about Saginaw, you know, where he come from. We got to rebuild our community. And, and we starting right here putting all this together, and I mean, this, this means a lot. I'm telling y'all, thank you. You can do anything that you want to do, is you want to put, you gotta put your mind to it. And you gotta think positive. You hear so many negative things all the time. You just need that one positive person in your life to, to motivate you and get you on in life.